Hello guys, this is Karan from Technofall.com and today we have these two amazing uh, Asus gaming routers with us. So the first one on the left is uh, RTAC 80TU. So we have actually reviewed this router in the past and I've mentioned the review link in the description below. And the other one on the right you can see it looks like a spider with uh, 8 antennas. So this router is the AC 5300U and it has 8 dedicated antennas. So the 4 uh, antennas will be used for 2.4 GHz network and the other 4 will be used for 5 GHz network. So uh, today we'll be talking about a new feature which uh, ASUS routers have uh, that is called as AI Mesh. Uh, not many people know about it. So AI Mesh is basically an intelligent system which extends your Wi-Fi range across your home using two or more uh, routers. So basically if you have a large home then you can use uh, two or more than two routers to actually uh, create an AI Mesh network and use that to actually uh, have Wi-Fi connectivity across uh, all your uh, rooms. So till now people were using uh, repeaters for this uh, purpose but uh, you need to understand there is a difference between AI Mesh network and a repeater technology. Basically re repeaters uh, are all about manual configuration and you need to be, uh, you need to be assigning IPs to it you need to be uh, uh, giving SSIDs the name of Wi-Fi to it so everything needs to be configured over here and uh, the inter-router communication that means the communication that happens between the primary router and the repeater uh, happens only over Wi-Fi and that too in traditional repeaters you will find that it's happening over 2.4 gigahertz network while in the AI mesh network the SSID of the primary router is basically copied to all the nodes and it remains the same so it's like having one single Wi-Fi network across your home with multiple routers and you also need uh, the IP to be assigned in repeaters but in this case the IP will be at assigned automatically by the network and uh, the system will actually decide if the inter-router communication that happens between the primary router and the nodes uh, should it happen over 2.4 gigahertz network or 5 gigahertz network or LAN cable so depending on the latency the system will actually uh, choose the proper network and give you maximum speed now one of the key difference uh, in the repeater and the AI mesh technology is when you are roaming around the house right so uh, the AI mesh actually decides which router your device gets connected to based on your signal strength that you are getting on the device so this will actually uh, increase your Wi-Fi speed across your your house and the switching will happen automatically as you are roaming around your house this doesn't happen uh, in traditional repeaters and you will have to switch uh, to different networks manually and this is very really irritating if you are having a large home or office so overall uh, AI mesh is more like a centralized integrated system which uh, with one uh, SSID and uh, the repeaters are basically more of a distributed system wherein you get access to each of the uh, repeater or router individually but uh, it's not that integrated. Uh, now you need to note one thing that uh, the AI mesh network needs a minimum two routers to actually create the network and uh, you can use maximum of six nodes for this. A router and only the ASUS routers that actually supports this uh, AI mesh feature will uh, be used in this uh, network. Now the question is how to create a AI mesh network and how easy it is to create a uh, network. So I'll be showing you uh, using these two routers. So let us check out how to create an AI mesh network. So basically I've logged into the console of the uh, RTAC 88U by going to router.asus.com. Now you need to actually upgrade the firmware of both the router. Make sure that both the routers are running the latest firmware by ASUS. Now the second thing which you need to decide is which is the powerful router in this case which is in my case is AC5300U so you need to choose that as your primary uh, AI mesh router but uh, in this case I have used RTAC88U as my primary router just to check if this works out but in your case just choose the powerful router as the AI mesh router and just choose the mode as AI mesh router mode and this is the default mode which gets selected then you have access point you have repeater mode you have AI mesh node so the other router secondary router will be uh, used as AI mesh node so there will be only one AI mesh router mode or uh, default router and other nodes as the AI mesh nodes so I'm basically in the second uh, router configuration panel. So this is the GTAC5300 and now I need to make this a uh, second router as my uh, AI mesh node. So I'll just uh, reset the settings of this routers uh, and uh, I'll actually uh, 
uh, change the manual settings so that I can set this divide, uh, device to AI mesh node operation mode. So once I choose that, it is uh, saying next. Uh, I'll just press next. And now it is saying that uh, this device is set to node and just switch to your primary uh, AI mesh router. So what I need to do is I need to change my uh, Wi-Fi uh, to the primary router so that I can access that console panel and configure the AI mesh network from there. So I'll just uh, shift my uh, Wi-Fi uh, to my primary router. So after doing that, I'll just enter the uh, configuration IP, which is 192.168.1.1, or rather you can go to router.asus.com, which is simpler to remember. Now, uh, this is the console panel for my primary AI mesh router. So I'll just go to AI mesh node. So it's basically like uh, pairing your device uh, using Bluetooth. So it's, it's now pairing it via Wi-Fi. So I'll just search for the other router and I'll just click on that router once it's uh, found and I'll just choose yes. So once we choose yes, it will uh, system will automatically add that other router as my AI mesh node in my AI mesh network. So now once the process is completed, I'll have an AI mesh network which will automatically uh, handle the things like SSID, the IP assigning, the network switching and everything. So let us just wait for this process to get completed. So now you can see that the process is completed and uh, it's saying that I need to place the router between my dead zone and the main uh, router so that uh, it covers my whole home. And now you can see that uh, it's saying that it has assigned the IP automatically and the location is basically, uh, I'll just choose it as office. So yeah, so you can see you have the connection priority you have connection type so right now it's wireless you can see the mac address of the secondary router so now you can see that uh, all the wi-fi networks are gone and now i just have one uh, actually two networks 2.4 and 5 and now you can see that i have connected to the node and it will show that my uh, device is actually connected to a gt ac 5300 and the IP is assigned automatically. So this process, whole process uh, just took a uh, few clicks and my network was created and it automatically configured the other router. So in this way, you can actually uh, create AI mesh networks easily. So this is the benefit of getting a AI mesh network wherein you can uh, use multiple routers and uh, you can actually create one single network to actually handle multiple things and uh, within a few clicks your network is ready to go. So if you have a big office or large uh, homes then I would recommend uh, getting more number of ASUS routers and create a AI mesh network. So thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, do like and subscribe our channel Technofall. Stay tuned uh, this is Karan signing off from technofall.com. Thank you.